Welcome back to the Northwest Tank Line Super Bowl show. Coming to you from Radio Row in Phoenix, we've got Super Bowl 57 between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs. It's the Moach Bob Marchandovich along with Chris Burns. Our next guest is a three-time Super Bowl champion. We had him on last year. And uh, former University of Oregon standout, LeGarrette Blunt, running back with the Super Bowl champion Patriots twice and the Eagles once. LeGarrette, welcome. Nice to have you back. I appreciate it, man. Always a pleasure. You know what's so funny? We always talk about football and the one degree of separation. After we got off air last year, Mike, you played with Jeremiah Mazzoli. He's still kicking around in the CFL of Ottawa, and you played with him in Oregon. Jeremiah Johnson was with us in B.C. for a few years, and he was your stable mate in the backfield in Oregon. He was. He was, man. Um... Um, after after Oregon, man, we we didn't we we lost kind of contact because uh, I know obviously he went to Canada and, and, and did his thing, and uh, I stayed in the league and do my and did my thing. Um, but uh, but that's my guy, man. He he showed me the ropes when I was at Eugene. Uh, when I was in Oregon, he showed me the ropes, man. He um, good old Cali guy, you know. Yeah. They soft out there. Football's a small world, isn't it? Tell him I said that. They soft out there. <laughs> Cali guys is soft. You know what? I'll phone him. I'll phone him when we're done. Right? JJ, that's my dude. Man. That that must have been a bit of a. Like, I've been to Eugene. I went to college in Oregon. I went to Portland State up the road. And you are not a West Coast guy. And going to Eugene from uh, from down south where you're from must have been a bit of a must have been a bit of a change. It was. It was. A, it was a. It was a huge change. You know, I've never been in anything <laughs> that cold before. It was. It was and different. Wet. And I. And I saw. You know, I saw snow for the first time. Yeah. You know. I uh, I wrecked my first vehicle out there. It was, you know, <laughs> it was all first? nice. I'm yeah, getting you wrecked. <laughs> two, two, okay, two, 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 uh, just two, just two, just two. But I've been driving since I was. I can't say this because I don't want my parents to go to jail. Yeah. But I've been driving since I was about 13, 14. Man. It was. <laughs> yeah. My pops used to be like, "Hey, man, drive around, go drive to your grandma's house real quick and stuff." So, but yeah, man, I, uh, <laughs> I, um, you know, it, it was, it's, it's cool. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Um, it's some of the things we do when we're younger. You kind of look back and you go, different times, different times. Yes. Right? <laughs> um, we're going to get to LG's Feel Good, and we're going to get into all of it um, and your Facebook page. Let's yes, talk sir. a little bit about the Eagles in this game. You mean you won a Super Bowl with this team, but the crazy thing is, what was it, four years ago? And then there's, yeah. what, five or six guys that are left? It's almost like a different team, yet at the same time, a lot of similarities, right? Yeah, a lot of similarities. This team is uh, this team is strong um, on both sides of the ball. They're really they are really well coached. Um, they're disciplined. They're explosive. Um, all these guys are pretty humble when it comes down to to um, you know being being able to say how successful they are without bragging or or you know talking crap. Um, they're successful and in, in, you know considering the fact that they've been underdogs so much after being such you know such a high powered team um even even all the way up to all the way up to i mean i want to say as recent as yesterday or a couple of days before you know they were they were underdogs to this team until you know obviously people put massive bets on the eagles to win so now they're you know now they're favorites you know i think it's um you know, you talk about Philly teams, and I think it's it's really neat when you talk about the similarities too. Philly teams reflect the city, right? It, and it seems like it, yes. whenever they're good, everybody talks about that. They're a reflection of the city. They don't have a that big star. That's the big difference in these two mm-hmm. games, right? You got Pat Mahomes and Kelsey, and you know Andy Reid on one side, and then you got a bunch of guys. You don't have the star quarterback. Yes, you do. But you got the better team, right? You got the star quarterback. You don't have the. He doesn't have the profile. Let's put it that way. He's right? an MVP candidate. Yeah. But he doesn't, you know, <laughs> Mahomes, he's not yet in the in the conversation with, with Mahomes and, you know, the guys at, at the top of the well, game. Well, maybe now he's about body of work. He, he might be by the end of the week. Yeah. He might be by the yeah, end of the yeah. week. But like you know what I'm yeah. saying. As, right? as far as his body of work, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that as far as yeah. his body of work. But as far as this year, you, you, oh. can, you can put him oh, on the stage yeah. with any quarterback in the league. But my, my point is just it's profile, right? Like you look oh, yeah. at it from the outside, like – like just to let you know, I don't see a way right, Kansas right. City wins, right? Right. Um, but Philly's got that. I mean, across the board, they're yeah. they're. I mean, they're going to win an offensive and defensive line, right? Yes. That's what's going to win them the game. That is that the is other gonna side be vital it, to their success. Yeah. The other side, from Kansas City's perspective, it's about the the stars, right? It's about Mahomes. It's throwing it around the field, right? Well, they, I mean that. I mean, yeah, because that's what got you there. 
But but I mean, if you're able to run the ball with Pacheco and 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 be and be successful or be you know um, productive, I think that's the route that Andy Reid will take. Um, mm. He's all about winning games and winning championships. It's not a single man team, or it's not all about Mahomes. Now now mm. now is Mahomes the person that gives you the best chance? Mm. One hundred percent. But Legarrette, they can't win. Kansas City can't win without Mahomes having an out like a like a stratospheric game, right? Yeah, because we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be able to defend the receivers. Yeah. Oh, right? I love the weak my, part. I yeah. love the weak oh, yeah. part. Hey, yeah, nah. and yeah. and on top of that, you know, my 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 decision on this, you know, and 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 this is just me. Um, you got to put Slay on. You got to put Slay on Kelsey. And, yep. let every, and let everybody else guard up and hold their own, yeah. right? So yeah. you you can't you you can't waste Slay on Juju Smith Schuster. Yeah, I just want people to understand that you now. Granted, yeah, Juju up here on the poster, right? But in all reality, that should be Kelsey, yeah. right? So you want to put Slay on the guy. That is going to put you in the most harm's way as yeah. far as the passing game goes. I've seen Bill Belichick put a keep to leave on a tight end yeah. all game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've seen that. I've seen that happen. That is that is a that's a that's a that's a game plan thing. I think you should do that. Three-time Super Bowl champion Legarrette Blunt is our guest. Legarrette, what are some of the things you're going to be looking for on Sunday as a guy who played the game, won Super Bowls? You know, perhaps a, a common fan might not be looking for, but what are you looking for in this game? What interests you? What really interests me is 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 I, I know that they're often I know that Philly's going to be able to run the football. Um, I know that they're going to be able to move the offense. What really is going to get me is I really want to see, and this is not to tell anybody to hurt anyone. I want to see I want to see the Eagles D line all around Mahomes' yeah. legs. Yeah, right. He's coming into the game with a bum ankle. Mm-hmm. I don't care what no one says. I've had a high ankle sprain before. I've seen a high ankle sprain before. It does not heal in two to three weeks. It is months. It's a month long process. Like it takes months for this shit to heal. Yeah. So I want them. I want. I don't care if they sack him. I don't care if they don't hit him. It doesn't matter. Somebody make gonna, him uncomfortable. Some, somebody always yeah. need to get through that line, and I don't. They could just dive yeah. and don't be nowhere near. But it's going to make him protect and that ankle. I I played with one of those too, and you can play with it. Yeah. But but the way you do it is you make that ankle basically immobile, right? Like yes. I played with it, with one for years for for most of a year. Tape that thing tight. Put a soft cast on it. Put a high top shoe and tape the hell out of that. Yeah. So yeah. you can play with it, but you you're, not gonna same, okay. you're not going to be the same. You're not going to be the same guy. Forget the tape, man. Not, if you're going to play in this game with a high ankle sprain, you got to go to LG's Feel Good page. Yes, right? sir. You better believe it. <laughs> hey, hey, Patty, I got you, my boy. Now I don't want you to win, but but I, I want you to I, I want you to I want you to be comfortable out there, and I want you to not be in pain when you're balling out. So if you need me, I got you, but. Don't be mad at me if y'all don't come out with the victory. I just, I just want to make sure that you play a good game. For people that don't know, <laughs> talk a little bit about how you got involved in the industry because, man, I'm telling you one thing right now, from what I've seen and heard and talked to guys, guys love it, especially in Canada where a lot of it's legalized yes, now and in certain states in the U.S. Guys love it. I mean, the, for them it's a huge, huge help in dealing with the pain of being a professional football player. 100%. It is, um, and and that's my inspiration behind it is uh, me being a me being a professional athlete for nine years, but me obviously playing the game of football for much much longer. Um, you know, talking about since we were you know since I was you know in seventh grade. So um, you know this is this is something that I hold truly and dear to my heart. We always want to make sure that we we're, we're putting the best product out there and putting our best foot forward, and that's what started me in this in this in this lot in this. Um, and this stream of avenue, or, or I guess this business, um, in this way. So, what with LG's feel good, we have rollerball, we have we have pain patches, we have sleep gummies, and we have anxiety drops. All in which guys that have played in this league deal with some form of fashion, right? There's always going to be guys that have discomfort. There's always going to have guys that have banged up knees, hips, shoulders, whatever it is, right? You don't come out of this game uninjured. This is a 100% injury rate when it comes to this game. And I want guys to be able to deal with that without having to go to opioids, taking pills, getting shots, you know, putting Pour all these, all. putting all these, <laughs> oh yeah, all these foreign objects 
you know, and things in your body that is going to affect it 10 years from now, your liver, your, your kidneys and all those things. And you get those and they start failing you 10 years from now and all that stuff. And the first thing you say is, oh, man, what caused that? You know, mm-hmm. nobody looks into the yeah. fact that these pills and stuff eat, eat away at your stomach lining and all that stuff. So this is why I created this. This is not just for athletes. This is for Someone that has a podcast, a mom, a dad, stay-at-home uncle, cousin, sister, brother, any and everybody that has any kind of pain or discomfort, this will work for you, and it is the best product on the on the market. I know you like Philly. By the way, we should let people know again, LG's Feel Good Facebook page. You get all the info there for LeGarrette yes, Blunt and products. LGSFeelGood.com. All right. Um, our friends at Bet99, we know you're picking the Eagles, so that's a, that's a given. I think I know the, the answer to this one, too. Our bet 99 prop bet. Miles Sanders, rushing yardage, 63 and a half, over or under? <sighs> over or under? Yeah. I'm 63 and a half, a lot of yards against a good defense. I'm going to say under. Oh, wow. And that's coming wow. from a Philly guy, yeah. too. I'm going to say under. Hey, LG. Because he's going to split the, he's gonna split carries with Jalen, and okay. he's going to split carries with Gainesville, right? Yeah. Gotcha. Good. Well, there you go. We'll take the under on it. Uh, by the way, um, I've texted Jeremiah Johnson. Haven't gotten any response yet, but when I do, I'll let you know here on Radio Row. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Awesome.